Aurora in astronomy, NASA releasing a full batch of images and data from the massive James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists have been producing unusual discoveries in space for as long as we can remember, and some of these discoveries are often a mystery to them. As a result, scientists determined that there was a need to develop sophisticated tools to assist them in better analyzing their discoveries. As a result, high-end technical tools such as the powerful James Webb Telescope were developed to analyze the solar system and its components. The James Webb Telescope recently revealed a startling discovery on Jupiter, leaving scientists with more questions than ever before. What was this discovery and how will it affect our understanding of the final frontier? Join us as we investigate James Webb's astounding discovery on Jupiter and how it affects everything. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and the fifth planet from the Sun. The planet is a gigantic gas giant with a mass more than two and a half times that of our solar system's other planets combined. After the Moon and Venus, Jupiter is the third brightest natural object visible in Earth's night sky. The planet has been observed since prehistoric times and was called after the Roman god Jupiter, the God King. It is mostly made of hydrogen, although helium is also abundant, accounting for one quarter of its mass and one tenth of its volume. Jupiter, like most other gas planets, is thought to have a rocky core consisting of heavier elements, but it lacks a well-defined solid surface. Jupiter's continual contraction generates more heat than it receives from the Sun. This is why the planet's shape is an oblate spheroid with a minor but perceptible bulge around the equator. There is turbulence and storms at the interacting limits of its outer atmosphere, which is divided into a number of latitudinal bands. The Great Red Spot, a massive storm in Jupiter's atmosphere that has been spotted since at least 1831, is a noticeable result of this turbulence and storms. A weak planetary ring system and a robust magnetosphere encircle the massive planet. Jupiter's magnetic tail is over 800 kilometers long, covering nearly the whole distance to Saturn's orbit. Astronomers have discovered 80 moons so far, but Jupiter may contain many more. Galileo Galilei discovered Jupiter's four major moons in 1610, naming them Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. Io and Europa are almost as big as Earth's moon. Callisto is approximately as big as Mercury, while Ganymede is larger. The Pioneer 10, the first spacecraft to visit Jupiter, made its closest approach to the planet in December 1973. Since then, several robotic spacecrafts, including Pioneer, Voyager flyby missions and New Horizons, have investigated Jupiter. Juno, the most recent mission to explore the planet, entered orbit around it in July 2016. In the near future, scientists hope to further investigate Jupiter's system, particularly Europa's rumoured ice-covered liquid ocean. The gas giant has a diameter of 142,984 kilometers at its equator. Jupiter's average density is similar to that of a simple syrup and is lower than that of the four terrestrial planets. Jupiter's upper atmosphere is around 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. But because helium atoms are bigger than hydrogen atoms, Jupiter's atmosphere is approximately 24% helium by mass. Methane, water vapor, ammonia and silicon-based chemicals are also present in trace amounts. Previously, the Gemini North and Hubble telescopes gave us with great quality photographs of Jupiter, but the most recent James Webb Space Telescope images are exceptionally crisp, detailed and captivating. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered a rich mixture of gases swirling in the skies of a hot Jupiter-like world orbiting a star 700 light-years away. Researchers claim that in addition to carbon dioxide, water and other molecules reported in a series of new scientific articles published online, the telescope has detected sulfur dioxide. That must have resulted through a series of chemical processes in the planet's atmosphere sparked by light from the sun-like star that this gas giant planet orbits once every four days. That's very exciting, says astronomer Jacob Bean of the University of Chicago. He observes that light-induced reactions are a significant component of planetary atmospheres. Sunlight, for example, forms ozone in the Earth's atmosphere, which prevents dangerous radiation from reaching the planet's surface. However, this type of chemistry had never been observed in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system previously. 
Understanding how other worlds work is going to be crucial for understanding life on other planets, adds Bean. In the new JWST images, Jupiter shines with polar lights and shimmering clouds. The planet's north and south poles, the northern and southern lights, flare with a bright fire. Planetary astronomer Imke Departa commented that they did not expect the imagery to be this good. The photos were acquired by the telescope's Near Infrared Camera, or NearCam, and then transformed to colors perceptible to the human eye. The photographs revealed that Jupiter's Great Red Spot, a centuries-old storm, is so large that it could easily envelop Earth. It appears white in photographs due to reflected sunlight, as do other high-altitude clouds. The brightness in the photos denotes height, hence the Great Red Spot contains high-altitude hazes, as does the planet's equatorial zone. These Jupiter observations were led by Departa and Thierry Goucher. The images reveal orange and yellow hues at the poles, with blues and purples in the centre. Far-off galaxies' weak rings can also be observed photobombing in the background. The multiple dazzling white spots and streaks are most likely very high-altitude cloud tops of concentrated convective storms, according to Heidi Hamill, Vice President for Science at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy. Because the JWST photos of Jupiter were artificially coloured to highlight specific aspects, the red colouring accentuates the planet's magnificent auras while the light reflected from clouds appears blue. When catching ultraviolet light, the Hubble telescope was also capable of visualising the auroras, but the infrared photos from Webb reveal them in greater detail, lighting up both poles of the planet. Auroras are beautiful light displays, and Jupiter has the brightest ones in our solar system, according to NASA. These arise when charged particles such as protons or electrons interact with the planet's magnetic field, commonly known as the magnetosphere. Jupiter's auroras are equally dazzling and vibrant because its magnetosphere is 20,000 times stronger than Earth's. Webb has also captured photographs of the frozen Europa, as well as the planet's massive rings, which Hubble cannot see. These narrow rings are composed of dust particles created when cosmic debris collides with four of Jupiter's moons. According to Luke Moore, an astronomer at Boston University, the image of Jupiter is of course spectacular, particularly the level of spatial information in the infrared. The contrast is amazing thanks to JWST's enormous primary mirror allowing us to detect the faint rings as well as the extremely bright planet. A spectacular close-up captured with three distinct filters reveals multiple cloud bands on Jupiter, as well as storms and auroral emissions. Smaller storms appear yellowish or reddish-white, while the cyan hues depict clouds buried deeper in the Jovian atmosphere, displaying light reflected from the planet's main cloud level at a pressure of roughly one bar. Jupiter's two minor moons, Amalthea and Adrastia, as well as its faintly visible rings, are depicted in the new images. Amalthea is the fifth largest of Jupiter's 53 named satellites and the first to be identified after the four Galilean moons. Amalthea is Jupiter's third closest moon, with a full orbit lasting less than 12 hours. Amalthea was the final planetary satellite discovered directly or via the use of a telescope rather than through imaging equipment such as a satellite or probe. Amalthea is the most mysterious of Jupiter's moons because there haven't been many in-depth observations, we don't know much about Amalthea with certainty. It is a stony body with a mean radius of around 51.88 miles, according to NASA. It has a potato-like shape, is part of the inner moon group with Metis, Adrastia and Thebe, and travels 112,717 miles around Jupiter in 11 hours and 54 minutes. Amalthea has a temperature of 155 Kelvin, according to infrared photometry. According to observations made by Galileo Orbiter in the 1990s, the moon features hills and valleys as well as impact craters. Scientists think the hue is caused by sulfuric chemicals on the adjacent volcanically active Jovian moon Io. Until JWST's discovery, only two spacecraft, Voyager and Galileo, had ever explored Amalthea. Around the turn of the century, the Galileo spacecraft photographed Amalthea with its solid-state imaging SSI experiment, adding to our understanding of the peculiar moon. A Jupiter system program which examines the dynamics and chemistry of Jupiter, its rings and its satellite system may be summarized in a single image. Webb, on the other hand, isn't only talking about Jupiter. 
The space telescope's infrared light throws light on previously unexplored portions of the cosmos. When combined with the deep field photos, these Jupiter photographs show the complete scope of what Webb can see. From the smallest, most distantly viewable galaxies to planets in our own cosmic backyard, which you can see with your own eyes from your own backyard, there is something for everyone. Even with what we know about Jupiter, there are still many mysteries surrounding the gas giant. Scientists are currently examining the Webb photographs and data in order to learn more about the planet. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets orbiting distant stars, almost often inadvertently, by peering through telescopes at stars to observe how they are impacted by the existence of orbiting planets. Most of the time, researchers know nothing about the planets save their approximate size and distance from the star. They have on occasion been able to glean information about planets' atmospheres by examining the starlight that penetrates through. This is because various molecules absorb light at different wavelengths. The Hubble Space Telescope, for example, discovered an unexpected amount of water vapour in the atmosphere of this planet, known as WASP-39b. The Hubble observations have been confirmed, but we've gone so much deeper in understanding of this planet by revealing all these different molecules and being able to characterise their abundances much more precisely and then to see things that we didn't really expect, says Bean. For example, the sulphur dioxide. That's not something we ever had a chance of seeing with Hubble, says Bean. But it was quite easy and it just sort of fell out of these first James Webb observations. Aside from finding a variety of chemicals in the atmosphere, scientists discovered evidence that this planet has a patchy scattered cloud cover, he says. It's not fully clouded over, Bean replies. It's always wonderful when we can learn something new about one of these kinds of planets that allows me to create, at least in my head, a better mental picture of what the planet looks like. What new information will the JWST provide on this interesting planet in the coming months? Tell us in the comments section.